um, resetting electric power steering EPS might sound daunting, but it's actually straightforward. Um, first, why even bother? Well, you might experience power steering failure, heavy steering, both common nuisances for drivers. Uh, resetting can fix these issues efficiently, like rebooting your router. Um, so let's, let's dive into it. Uh, begin by turning off your car and remove the key from the ignition. Uh, this is a crucial first step to reset any vehicle component. Um, it ensures the electronic systems fully powered down, avoiding any interference with the reset process. Uh, imagine waiting for your laptop to shut down completely uh, before restarting. Uh, pro tip, consider um, uh, disconnecting the, the car battery to um, simply remove the negative cable, wait for five minutes, and reattach it. Uh, this process helps clean any minor electrical glitches in the system. Um, it's like a factory reset uh, for your car's steering, a no cost, low effort fix. Uh, next, turn the steering wheel fully to the left until it hits the steering stop. Uh, hearing that faint click is a good sign. Uh, then turn it fully to the right until another click confirms it. Um, this step is akin to recalibrating. Think of resetting your GPS by um, driving in circles, but with your steering. Um, once you've done your left-right cycle, return the steering wheel to the center position. Uh, this is vital as most EPS systems need a neutral starting point to reboot correctly. Um, it's like finding that level spot on a wobbly table so everything stays balanced. Um, after centering the wheel, insert the car key uh, back into the ignition, but don't start the engine yet. Uh, turn it to the on position, letting the dashboard lights illuminate. Um, and this step reignites the car's electronic systems, preparing them for the reset command, a warm up before the big game. Um, um, wait about 30 seconds to a minute with the ignition on. Uh, this pause gives the EPS system enough time to acknowledge the reset process. Uh, it's similar to letting uh, your smartphone download software updates. Patience pays off. Uh, use this time to mentally troubleshoot any signs you might have overlooked. Um, now, with the, the key still in the on position, start your engine. Uh, listen for any unusual sounds or lights on the dashboard. Uh, an absence of alerts is a good sign that the reset has worked. Um, it's like booting up a computer. If you see the familiar home screen, you're in the clear. Um, um, take your vehicle for a short drive around the block. Uh, feel the reaction of the steering wheel. Um, um, you should experience smooth steering free from previous stiffness or unpredictability. And it's the ultimate litmus test, much like checking if your favorite app bugs out after an update, when, um, if problems persist. Mm. Don't fret. Um, um, the issue might require professional diagnosis. Uh, common culprits include sensor malfunctions or low battery output. Uh, knowing this saves time and avoids unnecessary frustration. Uh, a friendly reminder that DIY has its limits. Um, one key mistake many make is not consulting the vehicle's owner manual prior to procedural adjustments. Um, it, uh, every model is unique. So this booklet is your blueprint to uh, successful EPS resets. Uh, ignoring it is like assembling IKEA furniture without instructions, troublesome indeed. Uh, uh, before wrapping up the reset adventure, remember, uh, frequent resets shouldn't be necessary. Um, if issues reappear, um, consider regular maintenance checks. Um, early interventions can extend your steering system's lifespan, much like regular workouts strengthen your core. Not a bad trade-off. And there you have it. 
resetting electric power steering is not reserved for automotive experts. With patience and guidance from these steps, getting your EPS back can be as satisfying as finally cracking the code on a challenging puzzle. Uh, so thanks for joining me, Scott, from the, the rainy but beautiful Portland door. Um, I think it, um, safe driving,